I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Hi, this is Tara Lighthold, and I am on location today at Shirts and Giggles. I'm here with Amy Jo Stevenson. She is the owner, proprietor of Shirts and Giggles and some other businesses. So let's find out what's going on in her life. So here is Amy Jo and Hello. Um I think I think this is our second go round. <laughs> so um apparently I had operator error. So I think we started last time talking about River Hills, which was where I first met you actually mm -hmm. was at River Hills. The River Hills was the parent company to everything. And it was what the store was called uh, for 15 years. Um, but 15 years ago, when we started selling at tournaments, we were asked to sell at a, a local tournament, um, sell souvenir t-shirts with names and numbers on the back for the kids, the athletes. Um, we took a strong liking to that and it wasn't too long after that somebody let slip shirts and giggles that it's all about shirts and giggles and i grabbed that name and ran with it and that that segment of our business has always been called shirts and giggles and it has the name has taken off um and it has a life of its own and i thought when after a few years operating out of our home and deciding to open a store again to house all the the people working in the office and the production people and the customers to keep them from coming to my house all the time. Um, I thought Shirts and Giggles was was going to be the new name. Um, it just, it's far more catchy than River Hills. So that's what we are going forward. I love it. I love it. It's such a great name and it always makes me giggle actually. <laughs> but I love when I see the truck go by. It's like, oh, there she goes. So I wonder where she's going today. Right. Uh, I wonder sometimes too. <laughs> <laughs> Bentley, it's Bentley's truck and he just lets me drive him around. It's good because his legs are a little short. Here's Bentley. Bentley. Oh, oh, he's busy. Oh, he's going to, he's going to grant us an interview here. There he is. There, his legs are a little short to reach the pedals. He is a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bentley. He's been a shop dog. He's uh, five, he'll be five years old uh, next month. So he's been the store dog, um, whether it was at the old store or at home or here. Um, he greets everybody coming through the door. You know that, Tara. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Especially if you have a cat or dog at home. You get extra special attention. Yes, I think I will probably get extra special attention when I get home. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> they will think I have Bentley with me. Yeah. So, um what made you, or what? how did you come up with, really, Shirts and Giggles? You said it was when you were at an event, but what was the... Well, we the name River Hills has been around for 20 years. Um, River Hills was the name of the street we lived on in Two Rivers when we opened, first opened the business 20 years ago. We sat down with the kids and a yellow pad, yellow legal pad, and everybody threw in their names, the brainstorming session. And when we were all done, the kids, the three of them, decided amongst themselves unanimously that the name was going to be Cheap Shirts for Cheap People. <laughs> I vetoed that <laughs> and went with River Hills, which was the name of the street that we lived on. It's just a cool name, um, but not indicative of what we do. So when we started the remote on-site apparel sales it just it just came up shirts and giggles it's all about it's all shirts and giggles and everybody knows the other saying um and if i had a dollar for everybody every time somebody said i know what you're doing there <laughs> i'd be a rich lady um and i just love the name and it's just got great name recognition it's been on my truck it's on the trailer and i get stopped everywhere i am gas station menards anywhere at Menards is a good place, actually. They'll they'll stand there and wait for me, the construction workers, and uh, get my card and want to place an order for their smaller, big construction company. So, shirts and giggles was um, is more indicative of what we do. We decorate shirts, and we really do giggle a lot with everything we do. <laughs> 
So it's not the only business that you all know. It is not. Um, I do now own the building. Um, I have the mobile shirt trailer. I have the cookie crate, which is, um, this will be the fifth season. It's a little, it's about four years old, but this will be, the, we're starting our fifth season. And that has been quite successful. This last year during COVID, people couldn't go to restaurants. They could still go to food trucks. It has been so successful that we are being double booked or trying to be double booked. So we're starting another trailer for that. Um, but the new thing on the block is the other food truck is going to be a pizza truck. And it uh, it's going to be called Mama Za. And it's going to be ready this spring. We're working on it right now, inside and outside. If you drive past the store, you'll see a FedEx looking truck out there. It's not going to look like that in a month or two. Um, it will have windows. It'll be black. It'll have flames on it. Um, it's going to be fun. Um, so I'm staffing up for all of these food events that we're going to be. We'll probably have 15, 15 employees through the spring, summer, and fall. Um, going here and there and keeping the store open and running and taking orders here and getting production done here and also serving food. And there'll be times when we're in the parking lot here um, and you'll see our two trucks and maybe some of our friends out there um, with their trucks. We'll have some food truck events out here too. Well, that's an exciting thing for New Holstein. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope you're going to give us those dates at some point. I will. Because so we, we will post those on the library okay. website okay. too. Okay. So, we, so yeah, okay. you know. Yeah. Advertisement. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so are you saying that you're looking to hire? I am looking to hire. Um, okay. Part-time flexible. Okay. Um, nights and weekends, some days, but nights and weekends, or afternoons and weekends, I should say. It's not really nights, but we don't do the bar scene or anything like that. But starting at 4 o'clock, we'll do a dinner time somewhere. Okay. Um, we do a lot in Sheboygan. A lot in okay. Sheboygan. So um, requirements for somebody who, um, you know, what should people be, oh, I have this ability and um, you might you want me. to be able to show up on time where we are um, and be, re be able to in be enjoy interacting with people and giggling. Um, we, we have fun um, in, in all all aspects of our business the food trucks and in, in here we just it's if it's not fun why are we doing it so everything's fun <laughs> all right all right i would think that that would be kind of interesting to people to to want to come and work for a place that's really yeah, fun and you can ask people that work here now it's fun <laughs> especially bentley <laughs> who's oh, taking a nap right bentley now. is taking a nap <laughs> he's not talking oh uh, so so I also wanted to ask you, because this is something about, um, this is a library uh, <laughs> piece, so I wanted to ask you, what do you like to read when you have a chance? I read, my, my favorite books to read are, um, right now I'm reading Kamala Harris. I just got done with Becoming by Michelle Obama. Um, I like to, I migrate towards people. I like their life. I like what they've become ambitious people and if I like who you've become I want to know how you got there um, my my life goal my daily life goal is to be a better person today than I was yesterday and um, so I feed myself with um, positive individuals positive insights and hopefully that comes out as well well I think it does I've always really enjoyed working with you <laughs> thank you <laughs> so other things that you sell here I, I know you sell t-shirts and you sell sweatshirts and since, and since I opened the store, I just thought it'd be a nice, neat place to offer other local artisans a place to display their products. Um, Tracy lives away. Tracy's art life has a full on display on the other side of this wall. Everything's for sale. Uh, there's a piece right in here that she's given to me. Um, we have Angie fighters, uh, bracelets which are called the leather bracelets I'm sorry I forgot the name of them um, and I have a display of those and we're also going to start selling CBD which is something I've been using for many years um, and I do have a personal interest in it my stepsister has Parkinson's she also uses it and it's made a huge difference so um, we're going to have a grand opening um, 
probably March or April, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, they'll, they're going to come to us and provide an informational session. It is Wisconsin grown, it is Wisconsin produced and sold by a Wisconsin seller and they we are now an authorized reseller of theirs. So when you say they're gonna come and do a presentation is just for you and your employees? No. Or are you opening it, it up open to, to the public? Okay. It will be open to the public. Right. That would be another good date for us to post on our <laughs> website for you. I'm going to fill up your website. Tab. We are looking for people to do that. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, what's the weirdest thing that you've ever had? <laughs> <laughs> had to um, put something on. We have embroidered some odd things. Um, odd things, more difficult things. Um, the weirdest thing has been undergarments. Um, they're not delivering here, are they? No. Um, has been undergarments. We have done underwear. Um, and probably the oddest is a bra. Embroidering on a bra. I don't know what the point was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sew my bras. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I, I can't imagine that would be comfortable. But that's probably the oddest thing, yes. Yeah. Okay. But we just giggled and did it. Huh? Well, that's good. <laughs> So, um, anything you have coming up right away? Do you have any events that are happening or any, um, we are any truck events that we might yeah. go buy a pail of cookies? You still sell them by the pail? We sell them by the pail. I just I think that's so darn cute. Got a pallet full of new sand pails. All right. Um, our, we're supposed to be right now as we speak at the Florida State Fair and it was not canceled, but postponed till April. So um we'll have the truck down in tampa florida come april which i would have preferred in february but april's good too <laughs> okay. so we'll be down there for 10 days um selling with the cookie truck um, so that's our next cookie event other than private events that uh people in fact we just did a cookie event um two weeks ago snowstorm they opened up their big bay door we pulled in served cookies all day yeah, it was perfect in the middle of February. <laughs> that was our first winter. I had to get it out of the pole barn. This was the first time I had to get it out of the pole barn in winter to sell cookies. But go with the flow. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah. Well, we will be looking forward to those dates and All get right. those posted on, uh, we'll on, your, you. uh, on our website so that we can get people out there buying pails of cookies. You got it. <laughs> All right. Well, Amy Jo, thank you so much for this interview. You're welcome. Thank you. Version 2. Version 2. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. All right. Thank you again. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. This is Anne from the library, and it's getting to be that time of year when the seed catalogs are coming out, and spring is right around the corner. Somebody once said to me that they're very excited about spring. They're so excited about the coming of spring that they wet their plants. But anyway, some of the books I have that are gardening related are Gardening with Biochar. And it's an organic compound that you make um, with charcoal and compost and it tells you how to make it here and it's supposed to enrich your soil and help revitalize it so if you want to review that we have this book at the library you can put it on hold our second one is plant partners and as the name implies it deals with companion planting and it tells you which plants go best together and which plants you can use to get rid of vermin and uh, insects or should I say repel them you can't really get rid of them so and that's the second one we have and these all these books are new to the library this year so um, you probably didn't check them out previously so and our third one is growing undercover and this book has, it shows you how to grow items, obviously undercover, um, like the big 
because they have like the big structures, even like um, cold boxes and things to help prevent um, pests from getting into your um, garden and it shows you how to extend the growing season into, um, you know, if you want to start early in spring or if you want to extend it in, into fall. So that's another one. And our third one is, technically it's not a gardening book, but it um, deals with the earth and it's called The Earth Almanac. And it's a nice book of essays and beautiful pictures. And it was, it's written by Ted Williams. So, and this is also a new one that we have. So um, feel free to come in and check out our library books on gardening. Get prepared for the season. And thank you very much. And we'll see you at the library. Going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Going to say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. I'm going down to the library. Shh.